Westeros may have a new ruler, but it's one kingdom short. The North has its own queen. As the democratic lords of Westeros declared Bran the Broken their new king, Sansa Stark told him, in no uncertain terms, that the North was seceding for good this time. The North will remain an independent kingdom as it was for thousands of years. And just like that, they were free again, all thanks to Sansa, a fitting end for Game of Thrones' strongest, smartest, and toughest leader. Sansa's come a long way since the series began. She started out as a love-struck girl who'd accepted the role she'd been given. She dreamed of being a lady, a wife, Joffrey Baratheon's queen. He's so handsome. But the fantasy came crashing down the moment her father, Ned Stark, was accused of treason and murdered before her eyes. Afterwards, she spent years stuck in King's Landing, being abused, mistreated, and underestimated by the people around her. She was seen as the little dove, a young and naive girl you didn't have to take seriously. Joffrey tortured her cruelly and constantly. Cersei and Littlefinger manipulated her, using her status as one of the last known Starks to achieve their own ends. She was married off to two men without her consent. Tyrion was kind but kept his distance, while Ramsay Bolton was a monster who got exactly what he deserved. She may have been dismissed by many over the years, but her innocent exterior hit a brilliant mind. She was smart and clever, and she knew how to survive. There's no better example of this than her wardrobe. Sansa used clothes like armor, showing her loyalty or defiance through whatever she wore over the years. Who can forget when she wore her hair like Cersei's or the moment she donned black as the Lady of the Vale? And her final gown with the godswood leaves sewn into the sleeves? Worthy of a queen. Sansa spent time studying the people around her, learning how to play their games and eventually how to master them. Marjorie showed her how to be cunning. Cersei taught her to see through the deception, mainly because Cersei loved lying to her face. Even Peter Baelish, who acted as if everyone was wrapped around his little finger, eventually could not keep up with her. Sansa combined Marjorie's wits, Cersei's strength, and Littlefinger's tricks with her own loyalty and love for her family. Jon Snow may have once been named King in the North, but Sansa was the Lady of Winterfell. She helped keep her people alive during the long night by handling the difficult tasks and busy work that Daenerys Targaryen couldn't be bothered with. What do dragons eat, anyway? Whatever they want. She became a strong leader that the North respected and a force to be reckoned with. She saw Daenerys' games for exactly what they were and refused to compromise her values for someone she couldn't trust. And while Jon chose to follow his heart by allying with Daenerys only to then betray her, Sansa knew all along exactly where her loyalty should belong. A lady came into her own before our eyes. She found her strength and her voice, and she used both. She fought for the people she loved and won. That's something only a true queen could do. Mm -hmm.